Today, I'm sharing how I clean fish before cooking. When buying fish from the market, usually my fishmonger helps to remove the gill, the stomach, and the scale. However, it usually roughly done as some scales still remain in the hard to reach area and the stomach can be cleaner as well. So I always wash and clean it thoroughly before cooking. These two fishes have been frozen for two weeks. They are not as fresh as when I first bought them. However, they are good enough for steaming. I will be using a normal plastic chopping board for meat. A chef knife to chop the fish bones and another knife to remove the fish scale. This is the one I am comfortable with but you can use one knife for both. A strong and sharp scissors, a cloth or towel which is optional and a lot of salt. I am using rock salt but any type works as well. Wet the towel and place it under the shopping board to make it anti-slip. This helps to minimize accident. Hold the fish and the knife firmly. Run the tip of the knife along the dorsal fin area from the tail to the head. This removes the leftover fish scale along the dorsal fin. Scrap against the scale with the tip of the knife to remove them. There are also leftover scale at the head area next to the eyes and the lower part of the stomach where there are a lot of tiny scales. Please be careful with the knife and not to cut yourself. Turn the fish to another side and repeat. Alright, I have thoroughly removed all the tiny scale from the fish. Let's trim the fins too. Use the scissors to cut off the fin from both sides. And the pelvic fin at the bottom here. Cut the fins from the tail area toward the head as well. A knife can be used to slowly cut it as well if the scissors is not available. Next, cut the anal fin part. This is the hardest and toughest fin. A knife can be used to chop it off as well if it is too hard for the scissors. Alright, now the fish is ready with the scale removed, the fin and tail trimmed. Next, the stomach. The gill and the stomach had been removed but it is not completely clean. Any remain left over blood cloth or inert need to be removed. The stomach area is the part that has a strong fishy smell. If it is not cleaned properly, it can ruin the dish. It has an air pocket inside the stomach. Use the scissors to cut it open. See, there are traces of blood cloth around the fish bone. Try to remove all of them as much as possible as this is the cause of the fishy smell. Scrape it with the tip of the knife to break it and then rinse it with water. Next, wash the fish. Ensure the strainer is available to collect unwanted fish scale and blood so it does not clog the drainage pipe and cause the stink. Rinse the fish with running water, removing the scale and blood cloth in the stomach, the body and the head. This helps reduce a lot of fishy smell. See, now the fish is quite clean. Leave it aside. Repeat with the second fish. Remove the fish scale. Cut the fins. Cut the air pocket in the stomach and wash it. Leave it in the same basin with the other fish. Wash and clean the tools and utensil over the strainer to prevent the remaining of fish scale from going into the drainage. Alright, it is done. The sink is quite clean too. This cut the fish waste properly. Let's cut the fish, also known as scalding the fish. This depends on what type of dish we are cooking. For steaming, cut slantingly, right to the center bone. Make 2 to 3 more scores, depending on the size of the fish. For this size, I will make 3 cuts on each side. This helps to evenly marinate the fish with the salt as it can be added directly into the cut areas. If we are not cooking the whole fish, it can be cut into serving sizes, either by slanting cut or straight cuts. 
For fishes with a lot of bones, such as tilapia, slanting cut is recommended. While a straight cut is for fish with less bone, starting from the head downward to the tail, cut through the bones as well. If it is quite hard, use a bigger knife and anchor the bottom blade to chop it down. Press it with other hand to break the fish bone like this. Use the towel to protect your bare hand as well. Repeat until complete. Alright, these pieces can be cooked tom yum, deep fry, steam and grilled, etc. Now we will wash the fish with salt. Put a lot of salt on the fish and rub. This helps to significantly reduce the fishy smell. I usually do this when my fish has been in the freezer for some time. For freshly bought fish, I will skip this process and marinate it instead. Make sure to rub the salt inside the stomach, the head area and the tail for 1 minute. Then thoroughly rinse the salt off. Continue to rinse a couple of times until no more salt is left on the fish. Alright, now the fish can be marinated and cooked. For the whole fish, I would put some salt in between the cuts and on its back. For the fish slices, I would rub the salt evenly on each piece. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.